This is like a simple plate. There's a lamb meatball. Hey guys, we just arrived at Bai and Gobi and it's hot. You are my so these are the true nomads of Mongolia. Hey guys, so I'm on my way with my friend's mom and my friend's mom's friend. We're going to the Gobi Desert and this is why you need to know people, like real people in the country where you visit because they can take you to places that are kind of off the map and not many people can go. Like the Gobi Desert is accessible to many people but they're gonna take me to a part that not many people go. This is a rest stop restaurant area for uh, travelers and there are so many people. I think it's because there's a tour. Like there are a lot of Korean people uh, taking tours in Mongolia these days, so yeah. Wow, so they've got like everything that I want. Look at all of the delicious food. Oh my goodness. Oh, every food here is delicious. Oh my god. Every food. I can't choose. And this is this is like lamb stew, right? Wow. Wow. Broccoli and I don't know what that is. Potato salads and stuff. What is this? Look at all of the food we got. We're definitely gonna eat it all because we're starving. And we're gonna need a lot of energy for the desert. So delicious. Let's get to it. Okay, I should have been showing you what we're eating. So, this is like a simple plate. There's a lamb meatball and mashed potatoes, rice with lamb sauce. And this is some cabbage that's been soaked in like vinegar. And then here, we've got potato salad, simple vegetable salad, the brown radish or something brown, I forgot. <laughs> egg salad and this is this is Bushkero. Bushkero. Uh, yeah yeah Bushkero. yeah and then Oma is eating <laughs> she's lamb rice mashed potatoes also everyone's got lamb rice mashed potatoes okay we finished eating now we're gonna resume our tour into the Gobi Desert let the adventure begin Hey guys, we just arrived at Bai and Gobi, and it's hot. It's really hot, um, and it's it's fast. Wow, so we're actually staying in a ghetto. I didn't know we were going to be staying in a ghetto. And this place is pretty big. Like, we've got one, two, three, four, four beds in this place. It's super nice. And I've already gotten a tan, you can see from my skin. So we have, let me show you. There are two super moms over there. There's super mom number two, super mom number one, preparing number one. everything for us. Check out this gear. There's one, two, three, four beds. It's so big and it's very warm in here. This is the top and we got a stove. I think it's because at nighttime it gets very cold. So yeah, let's go outside and, and see. Ah, ah. What's around here? So, if you look here in the background, there's the Bayan Gobi. So this is the Gobi area where we're staying or where we're going to explore. And actually, I kind of over-exaggerated a bit earlier. I thought we were gonna be in a very, very country or the very, very desert. But this building here is where we can take hot showers. So, <laughs> these are, these are like, <laughs> premium luxury gears <laughs> I didn't know that was possible like look you can even see there's a satellite dish at the very end over there and actually inside of our gear there's a, 
uh, a plug so we can like charge all of our electronics. So this isn't exactly roughing it. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. So now we're back from the desert and it's dinner time. So we've come to like this huge gear and inside of this gear there's like a restaurant kind of area or a banquet style. So there are so many seats in here. I think there's enough seats in here to fit like maybe 50 people. <laughs> So we're back in the gear. We were gonna go to uh, this mountain area around, but there are too many mosquitoes. Like my hand is bitten, and like everyone was just like eaten by the mosquitoes. So we're back in the gear, and we're gonna sit here and relax because we were walking all day and probably talk and make fun of each other. So <laughs> resting. <laughs> uh, it's not even nine o'clock yet, and they're just laying in the bed. Okay guys, this is the real morning. Uh, everyone is awake and it got hot fast here in the desert. Like, it was really cool when I woke up and earlier I said it was about seven o'clock. It was 5.45, I was awake. And last night I got a chance to come outside and see the stars, even though the, the clouds are in the sky. But I didn't get my camera out, so I didn't take any photos. But uh, yeah. We're on our way to breakfast now in the big gear. And then I think I think we check out today. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, we'll find out. Breakfast of champions. Getting a lot of fruit and vegetables this morning with Toya. She's so sleepy. Toya is crazy, but also Toya snores so much. Last night Toya is <laughs> So we're actually heading back to UB now because it's just raining too much. Okay, so yeah, we're stopping so I can take some photos because <laughs> I'm always taking photos. Um, this is like a random place on the side of the road and we can see like a person's kid behind me and they're looking like, what is this guy doing? But I don't know if you can see like in the background, there's a lot of sheep. So I'll try to get some photos of that. Just loving the Mongolian countryside. It's like freaking amazing. Okay, looks like we might be able to take some photos of these nomadic people here. Wait, let's see. <laughs> wow, look at her dress so pretty. <laughs> Hello. Instagram like I'm gonna send the photos to them on Instagram so it looks like they're not like completely completely excuse me nomadic because I can see <laughs> there is a satellite dish there and they've got cars but it's so cool because they've got a horse um, not stable but it's kind of like a I forgot what that's called anyways they have all their horses over there their sheep in the background uh, horses over there too and then they've got a solar panel and there's a, a satellite dish and a car. It's, it's really, 
It's not what I thought a nomadic people would be. Yo, here, there's even a motorcycle. <laughs> so these are the true nomads of Mongolia. Okay, guys, finally getting a chance to have this real thick milk tea. There's milk on the inside, but there's also some lamb fat. So it's super thick and really good for today because it's raining and a bit cool. So mm. it tastes like milk tea, but very salty. Guys, yeah, so we are finishing up our day. We're back in UB or Ulaanbaatar, and now we're gonna go up this really cool hill. And I don't know what it's called, but from here you can see an absolutely spectacular and amazing view of the city. Wait, 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 mom wants to get on the camera. Go, 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 one more time, one more time. <laughs> yeah, I love those two. <laughs> Thank you.